So after 10 years of the game being out, I finally decided to try out Path of Exile. I had always been kind of hesitant because it just looked like it was so complex and deep and everything like that. But it's definitely one of those games you have to digest bit by bit, just like reading a long story or something like that. Storyline has 10 acts in there, lots of varied level design and different types of enemy designs. There's a good amount of lore, but I don't really care about that too much, to be honest. But there is lore for the people who want to get into that. It's mostly just like chat. There's not a whole lot of cutscenes. It's mostly dialogue reading. As far as the graphics, I would say that it's good enough, especially if you're into isometric ARPGs. I wouldn't say it's like dazzling. It's not Diablo 4 level graphics, but it's not bad at all. The gameplay is responsive and it feels good. I feel like there's a lot of different options for how the, how you approach the game and play and build your character, take on combat, everything like that. And then there's even more options and mechanics in the end game, which I'll talk about on a different video. I think the sound design is really good. I'd say that the music is good. It's kind of reminiscent of Diablo 2. It's got good audio effects and sound design in general. Itemization, it really starts to feel like Diablo 2's spiritual successor with all the different flasks, which are essentially health and mana potions, but you can get one with resistance, one that makes you run faster, one that makes you do more damage, more armor. If you can think about it, there's probably one that exists. So there's just really deep itemization i think there's actually over like a thousand unique items there's only really so many good unique items just like diablo 2 there's really not a ton of them that are that sought after but there's a few that are massively massively valuable there's even like an in-game help menu that gives you a lot of information about the game if you're ever curious about a certain mechanic or a certain type of mode or whatever there's a lot of information inside the game and there's a lot of like modifications that you can add to give you more context about what's going on there's a lot of forums a lot of good just community tools that are out there that you can use i feel like the boss fights are possibly the best boss fights that i've had on an arpg they're just super well designed and they're definitely very challenging especially playing blind without any guides or anything like that in my case. I feel like the one thing some people from Diablo 2 complain about PoE having all the the area of effect and all the VFX going off on the screen. I don't really mind that. I would say they have a bunch of quality of life features like loot filters, different stash tabs. You can you can buy stash tabs cuz I mean the game's free. I think a stash tab's like three bucks or something and they occasionally have sales and stuff for it. The one thing I think that turns a lot of players away and it turned me away initially was the passive skill tree. But I think it allows for a lot of build flexibility. And then another thing about the game, I would say there's a lot of target farming when you're looking for specific types of gear or loot. And then they have open trading, which is also really cool, in my opinion, at least. You can also do different leagues and seasonal stuff that's non-trading, solo self-found. There's really just so many ways that you can play the game. And it's got 10 years of content, so you really have to kind of digest it in little bits. But all in all, I would say that it's really fun. The gems are essentially your skills. And your, your gems can be your skills support for your skills, auras, curses, spells, etc. It's all going to be gems that go into different gear slots and you can level those gems up and they get stronger. I also haven't spent a dime on a microtransaction or anything so it's been completely free and I see no reason why not to try this game out. You may think that it's super complex but if you play it little bits at a time and just take it one step at a time, I think that you'll really find that there's a reason why they say it's the Diablo 2 spiritual successor. If I could find one single thing to complain about, it would be the fact that there's no brightness slider 
in the video settings on here. I had to actually use an NVIDIA filter. But other than that, I mean, you could tweak your NVIDIA settings or you could tweak your monitor settings or whatever and get that squared away. So that's the only thing, really, in my opinion, aside from it maybe being too complicated for some people. But 100% worth a try.